Hi, I'm Hiba Derbish. In this project, we're implementing a security car. The main idea of this project is that the car moves through the Bluetooth using an application on our mobile phone, and then it moves around the area, detecting any motion and any sound. The component that we use in this project is the Arduino Mega Board, a car, four, du uh, four dual motors, two servo motors, a tilt kit, a PIR sensor to detect the motion and a sound sensor, and the Bluetooth module. In our model, we had two servo motors and one tilt kit. One servo motor is connected on top of the other. The bottom servo motor help, helps us move horizontally, and the one on the top helps us move vertically with the help of a tilt kit. In order to control our car, there are four dual motors connected to our four wheels. The two motors on the left are connected to an H-bridge, and the two motors on the right are connected to another H-bridge in order to make the control of the car easily. Hi Arturo, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the PIR sensor and the sound sensor. First, PIR sensor. Uh, PIR sensor is mounted on a servo motor. Uh, the PIR uh, is, a, is a passive uh, infrared sensor that allows you to sense motion. It has three pins, uh, power, output and ground. The power is 3,5 VVC to 5V um, uh, to Arduino. Uh, the output is high when it senses motion and it's low when no motion is detected. The ground is uh, connect, uh, it's connected to the ground of the Arduino. Uh, the PIR sensor has a detection angle of 110 degrees and, uh, and it detects up to 7 meters. Second, the sound sensor. The sound sensor is mounted, uh, mounted on the breadboard. It allows us to sense uh, sound after adjusting the, uh, the detector point. Uh, it has three pins, uh, power, output and ground. Power is five volts. Uh, output is high when sound is detected and it's low when no sound is detected. And the ground is uh, also connected to the ground of the organ. My name is Mohamed Bahiri and I'm going to walk you through a simple introduction to the Bluetooth module we use in this project. Uh, the Bluetooth module we used uh, can work as both as a master or as a slave. A master device can connect to up to six devices. However, a slave device can connect to only one device. So we use them, uh, our module as a slave device since we only need to control the, the module using only one device. To do that, we uploaded our code, uh, our sketch, to the Bluetooth module using the Arduino. We connected the Bluetooth module to the Arduino and we connected the Arduino to the laptop. Then we downloaded the we uploaded the code to the Arduino. Then we had to reset the Arduino to be able to download the main sketch of the project to the Arduino later. It's important to note that to, uh, to download the code later on to an, to an Arduino, we have to disconnect the Bluetooth module in order not to interfere with the code that's being written to the Arduino. And the Bluetooth module has six pins. Uh, it's important to note that the VCC of the, uh, uh, the Bluetooth module is 3.3 uh, and not 5 voltage. The 5 voltage can damage uh, the Bluetooth module, so it's very important to connect it to the 3.3 voltage. And it also has a ground and an enable and the RX and TX that are connected to the TX and RX respectively of the Arduino of course. Uh, this allows the communication between the Arduino and the Bluetooth device.